Well, hello my little beauties, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire. Today we're going to be comparing the most popular CSS frameworks, or at least based on a Google search that I did about an hour ago. And what we're going to do is have a look at them side by side, and I'm going to be making the case that Trongate is the best CSS framework of 2021. If I was a decent YouTuber, I'd say 2022, by the way, but let's keep it honest here. Now, here are the frameworks that I've got that I'm going to compare, and let me just show you how this little test works. I have some HTML here. Now, this is very, very ordinary HTML, maybe even a little bit too ordinary. As you can see, I've added a little div with a class of container. Here it is here. Now, some CS CSS frameworks have that. Some don't, doesn't really matter, won't do any harm if they don't. I've added in an H1, can you see that at the top? We've got an H1 here, for example. Now, uh, let us let me just do a wee bit of PHP, if I may. So basically, that's going to be a page headline, subheadline, paragraph, a table, just an ordinary table, folks. And then we've got a form. So here comes a form with a paragraph. I have tried a first name, so we've got a text input, label, we've got a select drop down, we've got a text area, remember me, we have a couple of buttons here, in fact let's just have one button shall we, just make it really simple, so just a very simple submit button, that's all it is, and then we'll have a list and then some other stuff. Now, there are people screaming at the screen. I can hear you, you know. And you're saying, what about all of the tags and stuff? What about all of the classes, you know? Well, hang tough. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But before we do that, I want to see how these frameworks perform with just pure HTML. This is pure HTML, right? How do they perform? I'm curious. So let's have a look. Here comes Tailwind. Now, as you can see, this is a disaster for reasons that I don't understand. They've made it so that the H1s and the H2s are entirely ineffective. Now, I'm sure that there is some tag or some rule I can add that can make that all look great. But the point is, with ordinary HTML, this is an absolute disaster. Look at those form fields. Look at the text area. It's just awful. Now, as we go through these, I want you to ask yourself, which one is the best? Which one is the winner from this particular test? Let's have a look at Bootstrap. So, Bootstrap, a little bit better, but not much. The font, well, it looks like they've got a reasonable font in there. The table looks squashed up, the buttons are garbage, the spacing is pretty much non-existent. But I can see that they have got some kind of container div by the looks of things, but nevertheless, this is pretty much unusable. Again, I know that you're saying I haven't done the tags and all of that, just hang tough, stay with me, we'll talk about that at the end. Let's continue. Here comes Skeleton. Now, this was an old favourite of mine for a very long time. Let's see how Skeleton does with pure HTML. Alright, now Skeleton's actually not too bad. The table is quite nice. The form is kind of okay. I think the widths could be sorted out. Buttons are a wee bit weak, but... I think this is probably the best one we've had so far, at least for my own money. Maybe the font's a wee bit small though, I don't know. You tell me. Now, let's go on to Pure. I'd never heard of Pure, but I took the time. And by the way, I, maybe I should show you the code. I, I mean, I really took the time. I did this right. Look, I've even added Normalize just the way that they want you to do it. Done all of that stuff. Let's see how Pure does. And as you can see, it's pure pants. The spacing is possibly the worst that we've seen. The buttons are garbage. The only thing it really has going for it is that some of the fonts appear to be different sizes. 
but that's pure CSS. Now, how are we doing so far, by the way? Do you have a winner? Is there one that you like? Let's have a wee look at Materialize. I've used this in the past as well. So, that's Materialize with just pure HTML. And funny thing is, I feel the same way about Materialize now as I did back in the day when I was using it. I used this commercially for a while. And it was always strange to me how Materialize never figured out how to do a decent form input field. They always had this line thing going on with the strange labels and it just never worked for me. So it's kind of okay, but isn't it a tragic thing? I mean, they just don't seem to be able to figure out forms is what I'm saying, even with the tags, by the way. Now, as you can see, the buttons are pretty garbage. Uh, fonts a bit on the small side for the paragraphs. Well, it's okay, I suppose. Now, how are we doing so far, folks? Shall we remind ourselves of how they all look? Okay, so here's Materialize. Oh, pardon me, that's Tailwind. Okay, well, are we going this way? All right, so here's Materialize. We'll go back. You've got Pure. Here's your Skeleton CSS. Here's Bootstrap. And I think Tailwind as well. Maybe we should do that the favor and not look at that last. Okay, now, yes, that's maybe not how you're supposed to use all of the frameworks. But the question is, how does Trongate CSS do with pure HTML? Let's have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not perfect. I repeat, it's not perfect. But it's the best. The fonts are fantastic. They look great. The headlines, the subheadlines, everything. The tables are brilliant. They change color when you hover and everything. Table headlines, fantastic. Now we could do with a wee bit of alignment, maybe removing a margin or something here on this column. But by a mile, this is the best. And I could do that change in two minutes, by the way. Here comes the form. The form is perfect. Now I know I've not got a placeholder or anything, but everything about this form is looking pretty cool. The font size is great, nice blue border when it's active. Everything about it looks perfect. We've got form labels, form inputs. Here's the drop down. Perfect. The text field, well, remember I never added any rows or columns or anything. So I could easily change that, but the width's good, and of course you can change the width like this, and it's pretty good. Remember me, checkbox, perfect, and look at the button. Changes colour when you hover it. Here's our list of items. And you ever get the feeling that you're on the winning side? Now look at Trongate CSS. Compare it to some of the others. I mean, even look at the, the forms here, the buttons. Look at this. How about this? I don't know what they were playing at. Some genius said, I know, let's make it so that the, the H1s don't even work. And somebody decided that was a great idea. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe you're all smarter than me. But Trongate is the only CSS framework that performs well with pure HTML code. So let me give you the theory. And by the way, it's time to talk about these tags. I know that some of you are screaming at the screen and you're saying, but hang on, you never did the class equals this and class equals that and all of that stuff. Well, you're absolutely right because it's ridiculous. I had a quick look at the bootstrap documentation, which is very typical of how these types of things are handled. And look at this. This is for a checkbox. This is all of the junk that you need for a checkbox. How about a form input field? Look at this. Shall we paste it in? Copy that. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm on an Apple Mac and I'm a bit slow with this. All right. 
So there's how you do a nice looking label and a nice looking form using Bootstrap. That's your most popular CSS framework. And just look at this. Look at all of the crap. Form label, input group. What's all of this? A MB3? Hey, would you like to know how you do this with Trongate? I'll give you the CSS, right? I'll just give you the CSS. No PHP today. You just go like this. Label. Now, this one is called uh, <laughs> your vanity URL. So you do that. And then you go like that. And that's it. This here is Trongate. This is Bootstrap. Now, some of you are thinking, well, if you're intelligent, you're thinking, holy cow, why did nobody else think of this? It's such a simple idea, right? It's such a... And when I thought of this, I was like, surely somebody else has done this. I could not find another framework that does this. I'm talking about the most obvious idea in the universe, which is why not just make it look nice with pure HTML? And I am astonished, absolutely astonished, that I appear to be the only guy on earth who had this idea. And everybody's gone clicking thumbs that you probably had the idea as well, fair enough. But how come this has become the norm? And look at all of that stuff. You do realise that there's two problems with this, right? The first problem is that when you do this, and I've just picked something out, you know, at random. When you do that, it's more stuff to learn. That's one issue. The second issue is, if you like to switch around with different frameworks, let's say, for example, you've got a button, right? And let's just say it's a submit button, okay? What you'll find, and I've looked, is that some of the frameworks will have button, okay? Then you'll have some of them that will have things like BTN. Then you'll have others that will say things like button, space, button, primary, and it goes on and on and on. And you cannot, it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot even do that anymore and just do an ordinary table. You're not allowed to do that. What am I doing with myself here? Yeah, you're not allowed to do that because tables won't work. It would it would appear. They don't work unless, even is it TBL or table? They're all different. There's no standardization here. And then you have to add table striped and TBL bordered to make it look decent. And on and on it goes. And this is all stuff that you have to learn. And you learn something for one framework and the rules are different for another. This is not efficient. Not to mention the fact that you're having to add junk code. Would you like to see how you do a button with Trongate? Let me show you. Now look at the form button. Button, type equals submit, name equals submit. There's no class stuff here, folks. None at all. And yet, when you check it out, look at it. It's absolutely perfect. The button, I mean. Now, suppose you say, well, I want an alternative button. I'd like an alternative button. All right. How about class equals alt seems kind of sensible to me you know alternative button class equals alt all right we'll save it and look at that it's absolutely perfect and by the way do you think you can remember alt is that okay because that's pretty much the only class it's got unless of course you want to do a link that goes somewhere and maybe you would like the link, this link, maybe you would like it to be a button. Maybe even have it on a paragraph here. 
and you like it to look like, you know the fancy links that look like the buttons? Now take a guess folks, how do you think you turn the link into a button? Take a wild guess. Come on, touch the screen. That's right, I felt it. Okay, fine. Class equals button. And sure enough, there you go. How do you think you turn it into one of the alternative buttons like this one? Again, touch the screen. Take a wild guess. Yes, you just say alt and there it is. Folks, the reason why Trongate is the best CSS framework is because it just works. Here's an example of a website made with Trongate CSS. It's the Trongate website. It's actually just gone up and it's unfinished at the moment. But I think it looks really good. I'm so happy with it. Would you like to see how this looks on a mobile device, by the way? Check this out. Look at that. It's just perfect. And all of the resizing of the buttons and all of that, this all happens automatically. It's just fantastic. Now, of course, I'm going to be biased. And uh, I apologize if I've given you a presentation that's not entirely neutral. But for the reasons given, particularly I would say the fact that there's no junk code here. There's nothing that's going to be getting rewritten. It's just tied in with pure HTML. And for that reason, and I am biased, but for that reason, I believe that Trongate is the best CSS framework of the bunch. And if you disagree, that's okay. Let me know why in the comments. I'll talk to you soon.